We are nearly two weeks ahead of the EU selection, but the EU's calendar will be relatively light in terms of data releases this week, so perhaps the attention will turn to other currencies and particularly to European currencies as uh, flash business PMI figures uh, will be out of the Eurozone and the UK this Thursday. Uh, the Canadian dollar might be another interesting currency to watch as the Bank of Canada is expected to deliver a double rate cut this Wednesday. So starting first with uh, dollar duty and the Bank of Canada's rate decision, our forecast suggests the 50 basis point rate cut. This is already fully priced in, so uh, what remains to be seen is whether there will be more continuous rate cuts in the coming months. Uh, futures markets suggest that another reduction, uh, probably a normal one of 25 basis points, will be uh, is likely in December, but uh, fresh economic projections could provide us with more insight about uh, what could happen in 2025. So, so perhaps uh, any, so perhaps policy guidance uh, might uh, be more important for dollar loony if uh, policymakers appear uh, dovish, if they use a dovish communication suggesting that more rate cuts are needed, then dollar loony may break its October high of 1.38. 37 and continue towards the next resistance territory seen between 1.38, 74, and 1.39. If we continue higher, then uh, the price may retest its 22 month high, 1.3945, registered uh, back in July. And then, uh, and perhaps it could also attempt to reach its 2022 top of 1.3976. Uh, well, if we look at the technical indicators, uh, the risk, uh, we can say that the market is uh, near overbought levels, the RSI is currently flattening around 70, and the MACD has already reached its previous highs, so all of the stochastic oscillator is ready to turn higher again. Uh, some caution may remain uh, in the coming sessions. Nevertheless, only a break below 1.3780 where the price found uh, support last week. This was also a key resistance territory before around this uh, long-term falling trend line coming from 1.3898. So if we fail to rebound here, I expect more losses towards 1.3730 and 1.3743. Uh, we can see that the price uh, rebounded around this territory uh, last week and there is another key constraining line within the same region. So uh, that will be closely watched before the next support between 1.3686 and 1.3660 is located. This is where the 50% Fibonacci tracement of this down leg is located. So that might be another uh, region to watch. Uh, now, if we look at uh, euro dollar, well, euro dollar uh, came under pressure following ECB's rate decision. The central bank raised uh, growth concerns in the euro area, pushing the price towards the 1.08 uh, level. Uh, well, since then, the pair has been struggling to uh, recoup its losses, uh, facing uh, well, facing uh, key resistance around the 200-day moving average at 1.0870 uh, and around this uh, important resistance trend line coming from the 17-month high 1.1274. So, in order to continue higher, uh, I would like to see a close above this region, and particularly a break above 1.9, which is the 50% uh, Fibonacci tracement uh, mark of this uplog over here, could help us to reach the 1.0940 level. Then above that, uh, all the attention will turn to the 1.10 and 1.1030 region because this is where the neckline of this uh, bearish uh, double top pattern is uh, located, as well as uh, uh, the lower band of this broken bullish channel. So uh, the pair uh, will need to cross above this region and, part and also break the 1.1055 level where the 50-day moving average is located in order to accelerate towards the 1.12 uh, region. Uh, from a technical perspective, uh, while the RSI and the stochastic oscillators are signaling oversold conditions, so there is potential for uh, some recovery, uh, but for that to happen, uh, flash business PMI figures due on Thursday should come uh, stronger than expected, uh, forecast point to a stable uh, to a stable report, uh, but uh, with the forecast being very close to previous readings, there's always a possibility for a surprise. So, 
if the data surprise to the upside euro dollar could uh, reverse uh, higher uh, otherwise if uh, the data miss expectations forcing the price to close below 1.835 where the 61.8 percent fibonacci level is placed uh, then we may see uh, more declines towards this uh, almost towards this uh, one year old uh, support trend line coming from october 2023 currently seen at 1.0765 and slightly below that this 78.6% Fibonacci of 1.0730 could be also uh, could also provide uh, uh, some support before we head towards uh, June's low of 1.0665 and finally concluding this video with uh, pound dollar well uh, the British pound has been more resilient than the euro against the uh, US dollar uh, closing back above the 1.30 number despite uh, posting a new lower low uh, slightly below the 1.30 level last week uh, but uh, yep given the uh, the the short-term trend is still discouraging and the technical indicators down here provide little optimism for a meaningful rally so the focus remains on the downside if uh, the 1.30 level proves fragile and more importantly if the support trend line at 1.2940 fails to support the market then uh, the outlook could worsen likely causing more selling towards the 50% Fibonacci retracement of this up leg at 1.2863 lower than that the 200 day moving average could be another key region to watch near 1.2792 uh, well, uh, Thursday's flash business PMI figures are expected to come uh, more or less steady. There might be uh, no significant deviation from previous readings. Uh, if uh, the data surprise to the downside, we may see more losses. Otherwise, if the data comes stronger than expected, suggesting that uh, the UK economy had a good start to the fourth quarter, then uh, pound dollar could advance uh, into the 1.3110 and 1.3160 region, um, uh, in which the price should break in order to move towards 1.3260, taken from August. Uh, this is where the price uh, peaked at the end of August. Higher than that, uh, the next uh, target could be the two and a half year high of 1.3428 registered in September. And perhaps above that, uh, the price may attempt to uh, resume its uh, bullish trend above this resistance trend line, which is currently seen near 1.3538. So uh, that's all. Uh, that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please subscribe to this channel. There is also a link below this video, which you can use to visit our research portal. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye for now.